Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel of MPRugs.com. Hope you and your family are doing well. In today's episode, I'm going to be featuring three Persian rugs. Two of them are genuine handmade masterpieces. These are beautiful examples of the culture of the Persian rug weaving tradition that goes back centuries. One of them is a more recent machine-made carpet. It was purchased by one of our viewers. They contacted us. It so happened they lived nearby. They brought the rug in and they asked us to examine the rug and we immediately pointed out to him that it is a machine-made carpet. This is a carpet that was purchased in the Middle East as a genuine Persian handmade carpet that turned out to be a machine-made rug. And this is something that many of you have asked me about. You have uh, almost daily, I'm getting emails from viewers, subscribers, in addition to our regular clients that we have at MP Rugs, where we always make ourselves available. And this is something that I also have been promising you since I started my channel here that if you have questions about a rug that you may have, and this is tied in with the video that, the topic of this video here, um, I always tell you folks, if you have a question about a rug you have, send me a quick email with a few pictures and everything. And one of the most common types of questions I get has to do with Persian rugs or silk rugs in general whether or not they're handmade or machine made because in the last 10 years the machine made rugs have become not only so widespread throughout the world they're actually also becoming so almost too difficult to tell apart for unless you are of course a very knowledgeable person but since most of you um, whether you are on cruises in the uh, Mediterranean, you stop by places like, for example, whether it's Egypt, Greece, Turkey, or if you're in the military. I got so many folks who have emailed me with carpets they purchased in Bahrain. I've had folks who have vacation in places like Dubai. And it is so common that you will see these fake rugs that what I'm going to do is, I got three beautiful examples here. First, I'm gonna give you tips. This is if you are a buyer of a pure silk, if you're looking at a pure silk rug, I'm gonna give you tips on what to be aware of. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take the three rugs, I'm gonna lay them down, I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm going to zoom in and give you pointers on how you can tell the difference between handmade pure silk carpets and machine-made carpets. This is something that I have done many videos about and I'm gonna to continue to make these videos because as of right now, this is 2024, over 90% of silk rugs that are being offered throughout the Middle East, and they're getting more and more common also in Europe, in the United States, are machine-made carpets. This is something, unfortunately, the folks, whether it is Iran, Turkey, and we're now noticing also China and India, these are all jumping on the bandwagon of making machine-made carpets. And this is something that most of you will come across. So here are a few tips on what to do to make sure that you do not fall into the traps. Number one, um, if you are taking especially part of a packaged tourist trap, if you're taking the cruises, if you're taking, uh, there's um, the tour packages where oftentimes they take you to cities, they take you to towns, especially, for example, uh, 
A typical example would be a cruise in Turkey. They stop at a city and they take you on tours and they show you the bazaars and they show you the rug stores and everything. Please be extremely careful. The same goes with if you're in the military. I cannot tell you being that lived in Colorado Springs for many years and we have a huge military um, presence in Colorado. I was approached by so many of our fellow patriotic veterans who service. First of all, I've always said, I'm a patriot. I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate your service. But what pisses me off is when they allow uh, some of these carpet dealers onto the basis. And we have seen it in Europe. We have seen it in the Middle East. And I'm dumbfounded by how many times the carpets they brought back are actually not handmade. They're actually machine made. So be very, very mindful of it. Also, if you're looking at buying a rugs and paying with a credit card, do not assume that your credit card company will issue you a refund if it, the rug is determined later on to be machine made when you have paperwork saying that it is handmade. This is also why, and a lot of times, especially in Turkey, with the paperwork, they do not actually state the fact that a carpet is handmade or handwoven, or they will not tell you that it is made in Turkey. They will not have the name of the manufacturer, the workshop. So be very, very careful. This is why I also tell folks, get evaluations. If you have doubts about a rug or if you're simply not knowledgeable, ask an expert to review the rug before you buy it. Because once you buy it and you have it in your home, especially if you've had it in your home for a number of years like many of you guys have and when you send me the pictures, there's nothing you can do about it. And there is a big difference. You can have a machine-made rug. Like I said, one of these three here is machine made. Whereas the other ones, the two genuine pieces, they cost about $2,000 to $3,000 a meter to make. Nowadays, a machine made can cost you anywhere from seventy dollars to $200. So there is a huge profit margin, huge for machine-made rugs that are being sold as handmade pieces. And it's really important that by knowing what to look for and everything, as I'm going to be talking about in my second part of the video here, you're hopefully going to get some insights. But please, if you're going to be spending a lot of money, always make sure you know what it is you're getting or ask someone who does know, have the knowledge to be able to help you. Also, if you walk into the stores and you see somebody weaving a rug, do not assume that you are buying the rug that they are weaving or that they have just completed. Chances are you are going to be sold, or they're going to offer you rugs, show you rugs that are made elsewhere. And this is, for example, typical Turkey. In Turkey, the vast majority of Turkish silk rugs are actually made in China. They're sold, they're then stored in the back of the workshops and the shops when you go see the bazaars. And then what they'll do is they'll have, sometimes they have a store, they have somebody sitting there working on a rug or doing some sort of uh, repairs or whichever, and then they'll tell you that they're, you know, that this is a rug that's being made for one of their clients. So you're thinking you're buying the real thing when in reality, they're going to be offering you a rug that they have had on the shelves that was made elsewhere. So please be very, very careful. The same thing goes with certificates and signatures. Just because rug has signature does not mean that it's real. It also doesn't mean that the rug is worth more. In some weaving cultures, in the old Turkish rugs, in the Persian gom rugs, 
you typically have signatures. But as I'm going to show you when I get behind the camera, there's also, for example, machine made rugs that have signatures woven in. Just because a rug has a signature doesn't mean the signature is real or that the rug is real. And the same thing goes with certificates. When a client purchases a rug of mine, I always make it a point of telling people that I hand signed the document. It details the rug. And so the buyer knows what they're getting. They can store it for insurance purposes and all that. But just because a carpet has a certificate, that doesn't mean that there is an added value. Now, there are some types of Persian rugs. There are some types of Turkish rugs that are very thought after, extremely rare pieces, like, for example, the Persian, the Jamshidi rugs that come with seals, that come with books, uh, certificates, and everything. But these are extremely um, rare and it's not something that you should take for granted so please be mindful of the fact that somebody makes a big deal whether it is a signature or whether they're promising you certificates and all that stuff it's the, at the end of the day you're buying a product you're buying the rug and unless you really know what you're doing don't walk away that's the best thing I can tell you. And this is also going to be the last thing. If in doubt, keep your money and walk away. And this is something I've always told my clients. Whether you're buying a rug somewhere else, whether you go to mprugs.com, if you're not comfortable with what you are buying, with who you're dealing with, please keep your money. That is especially true since I started my channel getting all of your emails and everything. There are many of you, like myself, who have a passion for handmade rugs. We look upon them just like there are people out there who are passionate, whether it is about jewelry, whether it is about fine wines, whatever it is. Anything that is handmade has a tendency of drawing people in that share that passion. But here you have examples where art is being diluted. It is literally being destroyed with these fake, what I call fake, rugs that are being sold as if they're handmade. So with this part of the video out of the way, and I do apologize for those of you that are, whether it is new to our channel or if you already have experience, I wanted to get these tips out first because of the amount of emails that I'm getting, and I rather be overly repetitive than miss than not give you what I would consider to be important information. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get behind the camera. We're going to take the three rugs down. I'm going to lay them side by side and give you pointers on how to tell the difference. But before I do. As I always tell my clients and my viewers, if you enjoy our channel, it's all about Persian rugs, feel free to subscribe. And actually, I apologize. It's not just about Persian rugs, but handmade carpets from throughout the world. As we get them, we share them with you and give you lots of pointers. So with that out of the way, I'm going to see you guys again here. I'm going to get behind the camera now. So here we are for the second part of the video. And as you can see, I took the three rugs down. I actually added a fourth one. And to give you an example of what it is I'm talking about when it comes to the machine made versus handmade pieces. This is a small piece that I have featured in some of my other videos in the past. And as you can see here, it is what is supposed to have had a signature, which is actually mirror reflection of each other. This is a machine-made rug. Beneath it, this large black piece, black and gold, gorgeous piece, 100% machine-made. Then we have this bluish masterpiece, 
from uh, this is an older piece from the Nuri workshop and this is a more recent piece from the Kazemi workshop these two masterpieces are genuine now as far as tips on what you can do let's say you are someone who is looking at rugs you're not too sure what to do you're not too sure which way what you can do if you are looking at the back of the rugs and i'm just going to use actually let's use the blue one here as an example because the contrast and the colors will make it obvious the biggest tip that i can give you is Look on the back of the rugs from the front, as you can see, machine made, handmade, very similar. You are, and I'm, I laid them out, both of them with the same grain. So it's, we're both looking, we are looking at them from the light side. As you can see, between the dark piece here, the dark piece here, there's going to be very little as far as hints on what it is this is also why when i always tell you guys when you send me pictures of rugs i want to see the corner back because the corner back tells me instantly of what we're dealing with and i'm just going to use these two here as an example i'm also going to actually grab the little one and now here it goes on handmade rugs you always have a foundation let me zoom in on that this is the foundation the fringes you notice there is nothing in between there is nothing on top of it what you see is what you get on machine made rugs this is all done by the machine and oftentimes the fringes are added after the fact. So to cover up the fringes, you will see there is braiding here. Um, I'm doing the best I can. I hope you can see this. If you see braiding, what looks like wool in the back of the rug, you see it here. You see it also in the black rug right here. You notice on the genuine there is nothing there it, this is all continuous but on the machine mate you will notice that there is something sticking out this is the braiding again handmade machine mate this is the telltale sign that you're looking at a machine made rug also look at the very edge you will notice um, you notice how it looks like it's almost been stitched this is done and here's the other machine made rug and you can see that it was sewn in this is machine made on the handmade rugs this is handmade you will also notice how the density the thickness changes and so very important the edge of the rugs with the fringes tell us whether it's handmade or machine made next you also have the shine now this is where again this is where knowledge comes in but let's say you're looking at the two rugs and I'm just going to I'm actually going to put this blue piece aside. Let's look at the two dark pieces. Would you be able to tell which one is handmade and which is machine made? Probably not. So look at them. They're shiny. They look like the real thing and everything, but don't again go to the back of it. And I'm just going to and this is something I always tell my clients um if you roll up the rugs you will notice there is a difference um and the, that's where you will notice when you roll them up machine made versus handmade you will notice again the difference of shading but this requires you to have knowledge 
What you can do is look on the back of it. When you flip the rug over, here is handmade piece. And you will notice when you look on the back of it, you see how it looks like unevenness? Well, that is what you look for. That is telltale signs throughout the whole rug. There are slight regular weaving. Sometimes the knots are a little bit thicker. Sometimes they are a little bit thinner, smaller, larger. But that is what you look for when you also run your hand over it. Now, look at, compare that with the machine mate. And I apologize. I'm holding the camera in one hand as I do these videos by myself. Notice the difference. You see all these lines? That is not what a handmade rug will look like. When the foundation, when the rugs are woven, handmade, machine made. Can you see the difference? This is so blatantly obvious. This does not require you to be an expert. Take a look at the edge. This is what you will always see on handmade rugs. Notice how solid and smooth it is. Also, when you look at the pictures of the two pieces, you can see how, and this time I use the fibers, I use the light blue piece. Notice how, when you zoom in on it, you see how hairy the fibers are on the machine-made rug versus on the handmade rug? That is the difference. So you have machine-made, you have handmade. The differences are there for you, and you can see how absolutely perfect this is. Again, this is a carpet that would cost the dealer about anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars a square meter this is a carpet that costs thousands and so that is the difference between the two so hope this right here again i'm just going to recap the fringes if you see braiding along the back of it you notice it is virtually hidden from the front but it is there, but it's very, very difficult to see. But from the back, you will almost always see it. When you see this, when you see the perfection, when you see the perfect lines, when you see absolute flawless weaving, you are looking at machine made. So there you have it, handmade, machine made. I'm gonna keep repeating it until we all agree on it so that hopefully, and this is especially for those of you who are going to be hopefully seeing this video before you make the purchase. So I hope this video was truly of help to you. I'm going to come back real quick and say my goodbyes. So there was our video about the three carpets. And as you, can, as you have learned, we now know which one of the three is the machine-made piece again. It was really sad to see our client, um, our viewer, bring in the carpet. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to actually showcase this piece. We have had other machine-made rugs that, and like I said, with this little one that you saw earlier, um, that are not of that high-end quality. And so here you have what I would call almost borderline super clone. This is a real unfortunate um, thing. Um, so I want to thank the person. You know who you are out of respect for your privacy and everything. No mentioning of the names. Thank you for allowing me to showcase your rug and use it as an example. And so in the meantime... I'm going to be coming back to you with many more rugs. Again, if you like our channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Also, more importantly, if you know a friend of yours who may have purchased a silk rug, let them know that there are videos like these out there that actually educate folks. It's not just 
about marketing. It's not just about making a quick buck. I believe that if you are a legitimate business and you like to share information, then this is the type of information that I think many of you would like to have that involves obviously handmade carpets. So I'm gonna be coming back to you with many more videos to come. In the meantime, wishing you and your family the very best. We'll see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.